Hi, welcome back. Same channel, different elevator. This week's Around the Verse was hosted by Chris Roberts with Sandy Gardner and featured a studio update from Foundry 42 in Frankfurt with that man with the golden hair, Brian Chambers. Here's just a few of the highlights from Brian Chambers' extensive studio update. Now, we saw some work in progress on some uh, vegetation for planets. Now, um, I must admit, this does look very nice indeed. Can't wait to actually uh, stroll through some lush vegetation. Ultimately, I think we're going to see a uh, huge variety of different landscapes and vegetation on planets. And uh, we may well uh, experience some really dense jungles. Now, we also saw some early block outs of the Hurston landing zone. Now, obviously, it's going to be a while before we see this. It is scheduled for um, towards the end of the year, I believe. But uh, obviously, still a lot of work to do. But uh, this should be a very interesting place to walk through. We've got a look at some new weapons they're working on. The Genomai F55 LMG. And this is a bit of a mouthful. The Toro Aggravated KHIX Missile Launcher. Them names are getting even longer. And some a &R laser cannons for ships. And some ballistic Gatlins as well. Now Brian told us that they're continuing to make very good progress on the combat AI. For both uh, on foot and in ships as well. In fact, uh, in the ships, uh, Brian told us that uh, the AI now have full control, so that should make their behaviour when flying ships in combat much more realistic. So uh, it's obviously going to get a lot more challenging for us all when we come up against those dreaded pirate AI. Brian Chambers told us about the work the studio put in to the Squadron 42 vertical slice, which we saw before Christmas. Now, I particularly found interesting how they uh, scaled up the actor Craig Fairbrass, who played one of the uh, uh, pirate OMC outlaws. Now, Owen Robertson showed us the software he used to uh, scale up uh, the actor Craig Fairbrass to the desired size. Certainly wouldn't want to come across this character in the dead of night. Or any time, actually. The Shadow Khan doesn't like people messing with his things, you got me? Sato Khan? Is that your boss? Are we supposed to be scared of him or something? Yeah. Now, talking about scenes from the Squadron 42 vertical slice, um, was of particular interest was the gold standard scenes and uh, you could see the actual quality of these scenes and uh, really does uh, look uh, pretty much amazing. Now it was really interesting to see the work behind the scenes which Foundry 42 Frankfurt put into the Squadron 42 vertical slice. It's well worth watching if you get the time yourselves, the full version. Now, the only thing about uh, the game, Star Citizen and Squadron 42, is obviously the time it takes to make. But hopefully these apt words from Liam Cunningham will ring true. Time is one of those funny things. The only again, the faster it seems to go. Now, patch 3.01 has been released, and it's mainly a fix for some of the major bugs, like the infamous ping pong ball bug and uh, well there are still issues obviously but the main uh, fixes will come in 3.1 which is scheduled for later in March but uh, bearing in mind we're still playing an alpha it's basically still a test of uh, systems which will be and uh, are going to be in the game in future and probably be considerably different when we get to play them in the finished game. 
Now, they can adjust things server side, and I think they've done that already uh, because a lot of people have been complaining about being interdicted a lot. And uh, evidently, they were testing the interdiction mechanics, but uh, I think some of the pirates just kept on coming. Now, you would normally be interdicted in Quantum Drive or have some random encounters. Now, fortunately for me, I happen to be in my Sabre Raven, and, uh, well, that magnetic pulse weapon certainly is pretty disabling. Now, of course, there's always going to be some bugs and glitches, and I did see an amusing one the other day where uh, a couple of the AI seem to have escaped from Paul Olisar. Now, obviously, uh, this is something to do with the server. Obviously, not the correct uh, level of subsumption for these AI, but, uh, well, it was pretty amusing. Now, that is uh, pretty amusing. Now, I should have had my helmet on. This week's Reverse Averse, hosted as usual by Jared Huckabee, and answering questions from the community were, again from Foundry42 in Frankfurt, Brian Chambers, with Todd Pappy. So here's just a couple of questions Todd and Brian answered. Uh, regarding a uh, ship buying in game with Alpha UEC, they're waiting on the item kiosk system uh, for that to uh, go into place. Docking, uh, question's been asked before. Well, obviously they're going to need docking uh, in the future, but uh, it's still obviously planned, but uh, they can't give any time scale on that. Now, obviously uh, the object container system uh, will be needed for when they expand the Stanton system. So obviously they need that when uh, places like Hurston come in line later in the year. Uh, breaching is still a thing. You'll be able to uh, blow holes in ships to get on board. Um, and uh, service beacons. Now, I think this is slated for the middle of the year and this is the one where you'll be able to uh, put beacons out if you're under attack from different players or Probably if you want to meet up with someone at a various location, you can uh, let them know whereabouts you are in the Stanton system. They also clarified the position on stealing ships. Now basically uh, the ability to steal ships is still planned for obviously in the future, but the systems in place at the moment don't really allow for that. So in the future, yeah, you'll be able to steal ships, but you will face stiff penalties like being locked up for a long, long time. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. And please don't forget to like, and it would help the channel a lot if you could consider subscribing. So until next time, wherever you're watching, out in that big universe, you take care. And hopefully, I'll see you all sometime soon. Bye for now.